Hi guys, welcome to Sample of TV. I hope that uh, you already subscribed and click on the bell button for notifications. On this lesson, I'm going to show you how to solve equations. And I'm going to show you the easiest, simplest, and fastest method of solving equations. Remember, there are so many ways to kill a cat, but there's always the easiest, fastest, and simplest. So we are going to do equations, equations. So the first thing you must know what an equation is. So what is an equation? An equation is a statement of equality, which shows that the right hand side is equal to the left hand side. So equation shows that the right hand side is equal to the left hand side. I want you to take note of this. I'm going to teach you the easiest, simplest and fastest method. For instance, you might be asked to find x given that x plus 10 is equal to 12. So I want you to take note of this, right? This point is so crucial and important. Change side, change sign. When you are solving equations, change side, change sign. It's not difficult, it's not complicated. You just have to keep in mind that when I'm solving equations, change side, change sign. Keep that in mind and stay focused. So what we're going to do here, we're going to take this thing and you put it the other side and change side, change sign. Equal sign is our boundary. Equal sign is the one that will show you that this is the other side and this is the other side. So now it's going to be x is equals to 12. 10 was having which sign? This side, it was having a positive sign. So change side, change side, minus 10. So what is going to be your answer? 12 minus 10, x is equals to 2. This is, going, this is going to be your final answer. Let's prove it. Remember, each and every mathematical problem can be proved. If we take, okay. If we take these two and we put it there, remember as I told you, an equation is a statement of equality which shows that the right hand side is equal to the left hand side. So as we'll be proving, if we take that two, we are substituting. So two plus 10 must be equal to 12. Two plus 10 is 12. 12 is equal to 12. Proved. It means your answer is 100% correct if it's proved like this. But Normally, there are no marks for proving. You just prove this. You just want to make sure that you are correct. But what you just have to know is change side, change sign. Let us do other examples. Let's say you are given y minus 20 is equal to 25. Like this. What are you going to do? Change side, change sign as I told you. So y is equal to 25 plus 20. Remember, 20 is having a negative sign this side. So if it goes the other side, it's going to have a positive sign. Y equal to 45. If you want to prove this one, if you take this 45 and, and remove Y here, 45 minus 20, you shall see that your answer is going to be, okay, let's do it. 45 minus 20, your answer must be equal to 25. So 25 is equals to 25. This means you are 100% correct. So, equations can be proved. There is no equation that you cannot prove. Now, let us do another example. This is not complicated. You just have to know that change side, change sign. If you can know and understand a song with a duration of maybe three minutes with each and every lyric, don't tell me that you cannot keep in mind something that lasts for um, one second just to know change sign change sign so you just have to keep that in mind and stay focused let us do another example let's say we have m plus three equal to negative five like this change sign change sign m is equals to minus five minus three m equal to remember three is having a positive sign this side so if it goes the other side, it's going to be negative 3. Now our answer is going to be negative 8. Yes, minus 5 minus 3. If you don't understand how we get negative 8, it means you have to watch uh, Directed Numbers Math Lesson 1 on this channel, Sample of TV, YouTube channel. Right. Okay. Can you prove this? Yes, we have to. If you take minus, you remove M and then you put minus 8 plus Three. Your answer must be minus 5. Minus 8 plus 3, what is the answer? Minus 5 is equal to minus 5. Proved. 
so this is how you solve it it's not complicated it's not difficult as many people think many people they stopped doing maths because they can't understand the equations there's nothing that is complicated on equations I can say equations they are very 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 simple it's just that you need uh, a clear explanation let us do another example I want you to take note of this now whenever you are solving equations never leave algebra with a negative sign for instance let's say we have uh, minus x plus 10 equal to 7 like this minus x change side change sign is equals to 7 minus 10 then it's gonna be minus x is equals to minus 3 so how do you remove the negative sign I know that uh, some of you have been told that you have to divide by negative 1 I can say it's uh, it's also another method that I don't like you don't have to divide by negative 1 you know what I want you to do just change side change sign yes so you are going to take 3 and it comes this side it will be positive then x if it goes that other side it will be positive as well so your answer will be x is equal to 3 or 3 equal to x it's one and the same thing let us prove it if we take uh, 3 and we put it that side it means minus 3 because it's minus x so minus 3 plus 10 your answer must be equal to what? to 7 right what is the answer minus 3 plus 10? it's 7 7 equal to 7 hence proved as I told you, there is no mathematical equation or a mathematical question that can be proved. Every mathematical question can be proved. Right. This is how you solve equations. If your coefficient is 1 or a negative 1. I want you to take note of this. It doesn't mean that algebra always comes uh, on this side. It can come on the other side. Maybe you have 10 equal to w minus 50 like this how are you going to solve this one change side change sign so it will be 10 plus 50 is equal to w what is the answer 10 plus 50 it's 60 is equal to w yes you want us to prove this one also okay let's prove it you take uh, you substitute 10 is equal to instead of writing w now we are writing the value of w which is 60 60 minus 50 so 10 is equal to what is 60 minus 50 it's 10 and proved so this is simple and straightforward there is nothing that is complicated here what you just have to know is when you are solving equation and uh, your algebra is having coefficient 1 change side change side right now i want to show you how you solve it if your coefficient is not one for instance let's say we have 2x is equals to 10. i want you to jot down this note as well you divide if you are solving equations and your coefficient is not one divide both sides by the coefficient Divide both sides by the coefficient if your coefficient is not 1. So here our coefficient is 2. We are going to divide by 2 here and by 2 here. So our final answer, x will be equal to 5. Remember, 2x is the same way as 2 times x. So if you want to prove this one, if you say 2 times 5, it's going to be 10. Proved. Let us do another example. Let's say you have... Minus 3y equal to 12 how are you going to solve this one you divide both sides by the coefficient which is negative 3 so if you divide by negative 3 here and here by negative 3 so it's gonna be y is equal to negative and a positive you get a what a negative as we learned on lesson 2 so it's gonna be negative 4 this will be your final answer I hope that you guys understand how we solve this one or how we solve equations Take note of this, an equation is a statement of equality which shows that the right hand side is equal to the left hand side. Okay, before I give you exercise, let us do last example. What if you have minus 5m equal to minus 23? 
How are you going to solve this one? You just divide both sides by the coefficient, which is negative 5. So we divide here by negative 5 and here also by negative 5. So it's going to be m is equal to negative and negative. We're going to have a positive. Remember, a positive, you can write it or you cannot write it. So it will be positive 4 and 3 over 5. Like this. This will be our final answer. Okay. I hope that you understand how we solve equations now. So it's simple and straightforward. If you want to learn other lessons, if you want to understand other topics as well, you can contact me on the WhatsApp number that is on the screen and then you tell me how you want to learn. We can use any platform. We can use Zoom. We can use even WhatsApp. We can use uh, Skype as well. Don't forget to subscribe for more beneficial lessons like this. Now I'm going to give you um, I'm going to give you your exercise. But I want you to take note of this. The other lessons, they are not for free. So if you want to learn other lessons, if you want to understand other topics, you just contact me uh, on the number that is on the screen. So here is your exercise. Let me erase here so that we have more space. Your exercise, number one, x plus 100 is equals to 5. Number two, x minus 10 equal to minus 10. I hope that it's clear. Number three, y plus 15 equal to 16. Number four, number four, W minus 10 equal to minus 23. Number five, six plus M equal to minus five. Number six, two X is equals to 15. Number 7 minus 7 minus M is equals to 10. Number 8 3W equal to 1. Number 9 5v minus 5v is equals to minus 11. Right, number 10. I hope that you will be able to see it, guys. 3m plus 4 is equals to 10. Right, so this is the exercise that you write or the exercise on this lesson. I hope that, guys, you understand how to solve equations. Don't forget to subscribe for more beneficial lessons like this. Also, tell your friends and anyone you know that is struggling with mathematics. Tell them to watch lessons from Lesson 1 on Sample of TV YouTube channel. Don't forget to like the video if you like it and understand it. Stay focused.